Okay, so this is going to be one of the harder uh, YouTube review and demonstration videos there is to shoot. And it's on the Whirlpool Cabrio. Uh, it's not the HE model, so it does have the agitator inside. But what makes it so hard is, is this lock lid. It has to lock into this lid, and there's no way to bypass it that I know of. So we're going to have to work on our other senses, which is the hearing of the machine and whatnot. So as you can see, it's got 42 minutes. If you can see that, you get a little blurry. Sorry about that. 42 minutes on a very light cycle. I'm going to see if I can't start the water flow. Nope. Right there. Lid. It already knows. Okay. Well, as you can hear, the water is running. Okay, so step one in this, and we're under a minute, is the filling of the machine, which it's doing right now. I will pause when it gets to agitate. Hopefully we can shoot this in one shot on one video. So as it finishes filling up here um, and goes into the agitate mode, I'm going to do the review part of this video, which is real easy. Uh, the Whirlpool Cabrio is an excellent machine. Uh, even the non-HE machines like this one right here, are very efficient uh, there's only one well let me go over the positives first the positives are this is that uh, this machine is very quiet uh, it's actually agitating right now you can't even hear it hardly hopefully you heard that that is the agitate part of it spins quiet as well Machine's very reliable, very rugged. Uh, definitely looks like it could be commercial. There's only one complaint that I have on these machines, and that is, is that the screen that protects the water supply from becoming contaminated from particulates and stuff like that, once they clog up, which happens really fast in Florida, but you know, any place you have good water even, uh, you can have uh, that fill up with sediment over time and the problem with that is is that when that detects low water uh, your display right there will give you an error code and that so the, the simplest thing to do is is that the first time that error comes on hopefully people that are watching this video in review will know that all they got to do is take their supply lines out pop the little mesh screens out reverse wash them so directionally that way with the water to clean them out reinsert them or if you feel like springing for a set of new ones you can they're about eight dollars on ebay and we've gone through the fill cycle on this and we've gone through the agitate cycle on this so now we want to make sure the pump works and make sure that it spins off for demonstration purposes so i'm going to pause change the cycle over to drain and spin and then hopefully be able to restart it um, on the spin cycle. All right, so here we go. That was relatively simple. As you can see, the water coming out of here is both clean and pretty with real good force. Didn't have a lot of water in there because I have it on a small load. Uh, I personally have run this machine twice now. Uh, actually, this is the third time for demonstration purposes, but I've run two loads of laundry in this machine and works very well. Uh, I did whites on one, I did colors on another one, and they both came out looking fantastic. Uh, this does have the stainless steel basket inside of it, so you don't have to worry about rust and stuff like that. And this is a really good machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video at four minutes. Um, actually, I'm gonna pause and see if we can't get a drain cycle going to where it actually spins where you can hear the motor. I'll be right back. So again, these newer machines, they have a little bit longer of a video. Um, I apologize for that. I certainly don't mean to go four minutes and 30 seconds or even five minutes into this video. Uh, I have another machine that I have to shoot. It's an older one, and it'll be about a two-minute video because they're real easy to bypass. But uh, it is spinning right now. The rest of the water is draining out. This is as loud as the machine gets right here. I'm not covering the microphone or anything. If I talk even conversationally, I talk over this machine. So very quiet, very nice, very good machine. I'm going to conclude the video. Thank you for watching. Sorry it took almost five minutes. But, uh, you know, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks.